Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I hope you had a, a really good Christmas and uh, a good New Year so far. I'm probably a bit late to the party and wishing you a Happy New Year, so I won't. Um, but no, I will. Happy New Year. Um, I've had um, a subscriber ask me if you can get from the Condado to Campasol on an e-bike or a bike. And the answer, simple answer is yes. And today I'm going to do the route using the service roads from Campasol to the Condado. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, see how we do. As you can see over there on uh, my left, or in front of me to my left, is the, the bridge or the flyover going over to the RM3 to set from sector A to sector B. I'm on sector A and I'm just about to turn right onto the service road. So you come off the roundabout, if you come over the flyover, get to the roundabout, first left, straight down, takes you down the service road. So um, here we go. It is a bit chilly today. Uh, at the moment, I think it's nine degrees. I would like to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed. You got me up to 101 subscribers. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I've only been going for about two months. Uh, I had quite a bit of time off over the Christmas period. Hope you enjoyed the last two videos. I know um, they weren't proper e-biking uh, adventure videos but um, I say if you're not into that you don't need to watch it just skip it and wait for the next one anyway we came through uh, this is the rambler along here <coughs> by gloves uh, obviously you haven't got them on oh shit <sighs> bleeding everywhere I have to go home <sighs> just a quick update from um, my video it's now the 2nd of February almost three weeks since the accident I haven't been out on the bike since I think I've fractured a couple of ribs once I got home that evening um, my side I was in agony my side was killing me at first I thought I might have just pulled some muscles but I think in the end I think it's my ribs I cracked not broken just cracked I've uh, been, been quite a lot of pain the last few weeks, but um, it is clearing up now. I'm, I'm getting better. I'm going to give it a couple more weeks before I get back on the bike. But also in the meantime, I've had, I don't know if you can hear me, I've had a really bad cold. So sneezing, coughing, um, yeah, it's been painful to say the least. But uh, I'm, I'm on the mend and hopefully it won't be too much longer before I'm back on the bike. Also, update on the bike. The bike, I bent the pedals. Whilst I was cycling around the Condado, um, my left foot kept hitting the frame of the bike on the back. Couldn't work out why to start with. But once I got home, I had a look and the pedal is bent slightly. So I went out and bought some new pedals. I haven't been able to put them on yet because I've just not been up to it. So hopefully I'll be doing that in the next uh, few days or so because, as I say, I'm on the mend. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, and my cold is almost gone. Hopefully that'll be a couple more days. Anyway, in the meantime, let's get back to the video. I've come along here just now, going a bit too fast. Um, come off the bike. <laughs> And a uh, few injuries and that, not too bad. But I, was, I think I was just about to say that I did buy some gloves when I was in the UK and I forgot to put them on. And as I said that, 
fuck off the bloody bike. So, yeah, <sighs> all my fault. I'll come up this hill again and take it a bit slower this time. Anyway, I, uh, I don't know if I've said this now, I've been a bit, a bit of shock. <laughs> Uh, on my way from the Campus Hall to the Condado to show you how you get there along the service road. Now then, don't do what I did, go too fast. Uh, it's the first time I did, I've done, I've come off the bike. I suppose I'm bound to come off at some stage. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a shock, but never mind. But there in the end, Oh, if I feel up to it, it's uh, quite chilly this morning. I think it's nine degrees at the moment. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll warm up. I'm not too cold at the moment. It is a bit chilly. Uh, hey, these hills are quite, um, quite steep. I just slow down as you come down and, and they're wet at the moment. We've had some rain rain lately. We're not, I think. Uh, so uh, just take them easy. I had to go home again to clean myself up, cut my hands a little bit. Uh, the gloves wouldn't have probably helped much because they are fingerless gloves. And uh, Although I did cut the palms of my uh, hand, mainly my fingers. But I'm alright, I've got a couple of arses on. Man, is he going back out? I said, well, I'll see how I go. I think the bike's alright. Yeah, so the road to my left is the RM3. So, uh, got a question for you. Did any of you get an e-bike for Crimbo? If you did, leave a comment below. And let me know what one you got. It is very muddy today. Round and roundabout, back onto service road. See, it goes down quite a bit here again, but it's only straight, so I should be able to glide down and come back up again. I do think uh, from Campasol to the Condado, it is sort of all uphill, but uh, it's, not, it's not steep. Apart from the bit where I come off. <laughs> oh. Hopefully the, the camera captured all that. Oh. Uh, it's the first time I've been out for over a month on this bike. Oh yeah, quite a while. Doing 25 kilometers an hour. I say, well, this is this is a service road. You still you still get cars using it, but not as many. If I feel up to it, I'll uh, come back along the greenway. But having just said that, I might give that a miss because, as you can see, the tarmac road is damp. So, going along the greenway, it could be muddy. I've fallen off once already today. I don't fancy doing it again. I might give that a miss and just come back along this route. But I'll show you how to get onto the greenway from the Condado. <coughs> So around this roundabout, 
pick up the service road again. Venta Sector, Casa Ruel, well days. I say, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, someone, but I do think this was possibly the old RM3 roads. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but the RM3 as it is now, it's only been built in the last 20 years. I know people that have been living on Campbell for 17 years, maybe plus, uh, you know, because Campbell's only been there for the last 20 years ish, 22 years now probably. Um, so, this I do believe was the main road. Obviously, they've let it uh, to uh, decay to a degree. It's still usable. It's quite windy again today. My mic's uh, working so they don't pick up all the wind. I've not ridden for about five weeks. A little bit out of breath. Yeah, here we are. We're coming up to the Condado. It's up a, in front of us to our right. I say this is the back of the Condado. And I believe, looking at Google Maps, there is a path, a footpath. Or cycle path, what you want to call it. Going straight in there. Let's have a look, shall we? Anyway, to our right here, before we go on the path, well, as you can see behind me, that's the, uh, begin, uh, the greenway, and the other way to the right there leads down to Condado. Uh, but there is a footpath here, just to my right, so I'm going to go over or on i'm going to go on it looks a little bit abandoned you'll see it when i go along there uh, but i'm not going along the greenway today you can see how muddy it is i've already fallen off once today i don't want to fall off again look plaster here plaster here i'm cut there i've got a cut there didn't have the gloves on why i forgot mm -hmm. anyway i've got the gloves on now i'm taking it easier than i was um, so uh, let's carry on, shall we? Right, turn around here, and I believe it's just here. It's here, look, I can't cycle up it, I can walk up it. Let's see where it goes, shall we? A bit of a verge there, isn't there? Uh, it? Right, let's push the bike up there. Get the bike over. Oh, no, I'm going right into it here. That's all right. Let's try it. Oh. Up this path here. Uh, I might go up this way a bit here. It's a steep. <clears throat> it probably lead nowhere. We don't know until we get there, do we? So, oh. okay. So this is some sort of path. Uh, I'm going to walk the bike for a minute, just along here. This is that tree there in the way. Well, perhaps I could have come up there. Would have been a bit easier, wouldn't it? So obviously what people have been doing. Kind of that bit. And along here on their bikes. Oh. So, let me just take it easy along here. Here we are. And now we're in the Condado. Hey. 
I'll show you around the perimeter road, the Condado. Now as we go around the Condado, I don't know if you'll be able to see it um, as we go around. Get that camera right, get around the right there, turn it up a bit more. Uh, as we go round, you'll see loads and loads of parking spaces. Now then, back when the Condado I would have thought was being built, Paramount was going to be building the big theme park in Mercia not too far from the Condado. But uh, because of the big crash in 2008, I believe Paramount pulled out, but left obviously the Condado with all these parking spaces that were gonna be the overflow car park to Paramount. Uh, I don't know how many parking spaces are here, but it's a few thousand uh, spaces. And uh, yeah, I believe there was going to be buses ferrying people back when you're forwards to the Paramount theme park. And also, I'm and led to believe that Mercy Airport, the uh, Corvera Airport, as locals know it, is uh, also known as the Mercy International Airport. That was also built to uh, bring people in for Paramount Theme Park. Uh, I'm not sure when they finished building the airport. It's quite it's a big air, it's quite a big airport. Uh, but once they finished building it, I don't think they opened it for about 10 years. And the Mercer Airport before that was in St. Javier, which was known as Mercer Airport. And I'd water in my face and kicked up. And uh, they share St. Javier Airport with the Spanish Air Force. So there were slight times for when the Air Force could use it and when it can be used for commercial flights. A little bit windy here today. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is now. Let's have a look, shall we? See if I can see what the temperature is on my watch. Oh, oh doing it one hand, it's not coming off again, won't I? Oh, hang on a minute. I'll have a look. Let's pull up a minute. Oh, what's the temperature, Steve? Temperature now is 11 degrees. No, it's not too bad. I don't feel cold. A bit chilly. My legs are a bit chilly. Look at those bit apartments over there, and in the background, you got the mountain range. How beautiful is that? That's lovely, isn't it? it must be like, no, it's really nice having an apartment there. On the other, like you know, on the other side of the apartment, it's just uh, looking at the, that mountain. And I believe the other side of that, there's a, a lake as well, uh, which is in the middle of the complex, I believe. I'm not sure. No, it might not be. If I can get in there, I might have a little cycle round. I don't know if it's gated, but we'll find out. Football pitch here on the right. And uh, a base, a baseball, baseball? Oh, not baseball, basketball courts or netball courts. Uh, some children's playgrounds as well. Uh, I believe they're open. 
yeah, it's all open for the kids to play. There's no one over there. Might be a bit chilly. Well, it's a school day in any case. Kids are probably at school. A lot of, during the height of the pandemic, all this was closed, all the play areas. Right, we'll try getting in here. I don't know if it's, I've never been in here before. Well, we'll have a look. Oh, go along here. Oh, there he is. Ooh. La Isla Candado. That's oh, quite nice, isn't it? It's like they've got the uh, builders there, or maintenance people, should I say. Well, not builders, maintenance. It does, but it's really windy. It is maintained really well. So now we've come to the end. I'll see if I can go round by the uh, lake. I've got a lake here, I'll go round here. Some sort of cafe there, I would have thought. Just take it slowly, nice and easy. Lovely views. Lovely lake, nice and warm around here in the sun. We come round here, at the lake there. I don't know if they use it for anything. I don't think they do. I could be wrong. If they do, leave a comment below. If they get boats out during the summer time. Uh, there's a life uh, belt there, or life jacket. Not bad. A life, uh, oh, I can't think. Ring. Excuse me. Gracias. <laughs> Let's see. We've got an apartment here. So it's not in the sun at the moment. I think we're probably going to be in the sun in the mornings. Uh, lovely views over to our right of the mountains. Absolutely beautiful. Got one of the swimming pools. I don't know how many swimming pools there are on the Condado. As you see, swimming pool there. We've got an infinity pool, as they call them. Lovely. Really nice. So I believe you have to pay a service charge to uh, live here. A yearly service charge or a monthly one. I don't know how they spread it out. Back out now. Right, back onto the perimeter road. Let this car go. Where he's going? Going in there. They see they do lots of maintenance on the Condado. But it is a part of the service charge. Unlike Campasol, there are no service charges at present on Campasol. But you have your voluntary gardening groups, which are charity-based groups. They do a wonderful job on Campasol in the four different sectors. I'll show you the um, car parks that were going to be for the Paramount um, theme park. This is one of many of the car parks that are around the perimeter road of the Condado. See, there's a lone car there. 
Uh, Mark's in the middle of nowhere. I say, there's nothing here. What's it doing there? It's been dumped, I don't know. Um, but lovely views. That was all right. Uh, yeah, I will try and put um, a little uh, map up of the Condado and do um, to show you where all the actual car parks are. So uh, you can see them. So we're just coming out to the end of just one of the car parks, one of many. We'll try and get onto the other side of the road. Let's come on the pavement here for a minute. No, there's no one about, no one here. I would go over the other side of the road now. say it's a it's a massive urbanization the condado and i still think there's probably loads of uh, land waiting to be built on still all right just having a drink Blood, you know, it was there, would have wiped it off otherwise. <coughs> so, where I come off earlier on. Okay, I don't know if you noticed there, little glitch. My battery died again. But the good news is, I've got a spare battery. So hopefully from now on, my battery dying won't be a problem because really, I don't really want to get halfway around the Condado and start recording. Oh, that's uh, and not only that, today, I didn't even bring me, uh, me uh, Osmo Pocket out. Uh, we're still going around the perimeter road. You can see it's a rather large urbanisation. I look on that roundabout, there's some sort of uh, art installation. I don't got a clue what that all that's about. Not a clue. It's a big roundabout, isn't it? There you go, a Condado, Al Hammer. I'm going to come around here and now go down here. I didn't go into the commercial area of the Condado. I just want to show you the perimeter. The prime aim of this video really was to show you how to get to the Condado using the service road. <coughs> So that's how you do it. So I'm going to start making my way back to Camera Soul now. Uh, stick with me if you like. Oh, I hope you do, so I don't like being on my own. Nice when you've got company. And as I say, I think on the way here, I did say that to the Condado. It is slightly uphill, so there's a slight elevation. Not sure what it is. I might be able to look it up. Uh, let you know what it is. But So going back down to Camp Missile 
it is downhill. And it's also the same from Campasol down to Mapperon, which is downhill as well. That's quite a bit, but it's uh, it's spread over a few miles, so or kilometres, whichever way you want to do it. It's spread over that's quite a way. So you know, it's quite an easy ride. As you, if you look back on my other video when I first picked the bike up, I done from Bonavo to Campasol. Uh, and it's not a bad ride, really. Along the uh, Greenway. I won't want to do it today because, as I said, it's very muddy, very wet. Uh, I don't mind a bit of mud and a bit of wet. But after my little collision today, a little bit wary. So I'd rather go when it's a bit drier. We have enough dry days in Spain. So I don't really have to wait long for that to happen. Okay, yeah, to the uh, right here is the RM23. I uh, did forget to mention when you leave Campasol, the road you go along or beside the service road is the RM3, and then it's, it, it uh, cuts off to the right the the road. You can go, over, go straight on or bear to the right if you are on the RM3 to, to the Condado. That's if you're on the, the main carriageway but when you're on the service roads from there just stick to the service roads go round the roundabouts stick to the service roads and uh, you'll get to the condado <laughs> yet again to our left all those parking spaces hopefully one day uh, Disney or uh, Paramount or someone will come along and build a theme park in Mercia and all this will be used because at that moment what a waste what a shame I'm coming up to that path to come off now. So uh, I'll get off the bike here. Bumpy up this curb. Well, some people are using it. I don't know what the intention was originally. Because, like most of uh, the Condado, it's been left unfinished. Oh, I think I was going on about the golf courses, weren't I? Before my battery died. Yeah, I think I remember that. I could talk about that in a minute. Easy, isn't it? I could have sucked it down that easy, but I won't for now. No, my front tire's going down, I just have to check it. This is a guy with this bump. No, it's fine. Go to a cycle path. Let's say there's a cycle path along this bit. 
come along. So, uh, as you can probably see in front of me, it's pretty much all downhill. So, it's a nice, gentle ride down to Campbell. Don't go too fast like I did start with. And I think I did panic and press my front brake when I did that. It's a bit more chilly when the sun goes in. I'm doing 27 kilometers an hour at the moment. Down here, hill. And here we are a little bit again. Oh, I was telling you about the uh, golf courses, I believe, on the Condado. I believe they were meant to be, I think it was three golf courses. Um, they only managed to build one. Not being a golfer, I don't know if it was a good golf course, a bad one or not. But unfortunately, because of the big sea, COVID, um, they closed it and it put it up for sale. As far as I'm aware, it hasn't been sold yet. So it's been up for sale for, I think, just over a year now. And in that time, it's been closed. I don't know anything about it, really, apart from that. Whether it's been maintained uh, or it's just been abandoned, I really do not know. So if anyone does know, leave a comment below. Right, another, another round blood to go through. I say, today's ride was only a short one. Meant to be uneventful. Uh, turning to be a little bit eventful for me coming off uh, I was filming at the time so hopefully it's all on camera uh, the microphone receiver went flying up the path uh, so it seems to be working still Found this roundabout. Mr. Turnoff for Tatana and El Paraton. And then take this little right here, not this one, because there's no entry. This little right via the Servisco. 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 This is a service road. And as you can see here, along here, I believe, is where the RM23 joins the RM3. So from here to our right will be the RM3. I really do not like this loose gravel. They have recently uh, tarmacked some of this path, but what they don't seem to do is bed it in. I think they leave it to the cars to bed it in. I must admit, I don't know much about tarmacking. Oh, gear slip there. I know what happened there. Okay. Uh, more downhill. Just don't go too fast, Steve. Let's try and get up in one piece today. And this is where I fell off, coming the other way. Where? Oh! Ugh. And as you can see, we're just approaching Campusol, and you've got the fly over there in front of us, which takes you from A to B, as I said earlier on. And that is it. If you want to go to sector B, 
C or D, straight over the flyover, and you're there. If you want to go to the commercial centre on A, come up to the roundabout, straight on. So, that concludes today's video. Hope you enjoyed it uh, as much as I did. Uh, I just see Harvey. We'll catch you on the next one. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. It means so much to me. And it builds up the channel so more people get to see these videos. So yeah, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.